Now that we've taken a basic look at exponential of functions, we're ready to start graphing exponential functions. Now the graph of an exponential function looks something like this curve down here, where it starts out flat, starts to escalate, and goes up faster and faster and faster, steeper and steeper and steeper. First, to make these graphs, we need to recall that the form of an exponential function is f of x equals a times b to the x. The key point is the starting point. Remember, when x is 0, a is the starting point. So in this case, this point right here at the 1 is the starting point. We need one other key point to get an idea of the shape. That other key point that's easy to find is usually if we plug 1 in for x, because if we plug 1 in for x, we end up with a times b, and we can figure out what that value is. And so that value can be our second point, and it kind of tells us how the graph is going to bend or lay out. Also to help us, there's what's called an asymptote on the x-axis. An asymptote is a line that the graph is going to get closer and closer to, but it's never going to reach and never going to cross. So in the case of this graph, you see towards the left, the graph gets closer and closer to the x-axis. And if we were to zoom in, though, we would find it never actually reaches the x-axis. It always gets closer and then closer, but never actually arrives. Now, the graph could go any direction. It could come in from the left. It could come in from below. It can come in from lots of directions. So I just want to get the idea of it's really steep on one side and really shallow on the other side with an asymptote on the x-axis. Well, that escalated quickly. Of course it did. It's an exponential function. Let's take a look at this exponential function. f of x is 4 times 1 third to the x. Our key point is 0 comma a, so 0 comma 4. When we plug 0 in, all we're left with is the 4. So 0 comma 4 here is going to be our y-intercept. Our next point is 1 comma a times b. 4 times 1 third is 4 thirds or if we prefer the decimal 1 comma 1.33. So 1 comma 1.33. And then remember, it's going to come in really steep. And then shallow, shallow, shallow. We've got the graph of our exponential function. And that's all there is to it. We can go the other direction. If I give you the graph, you should be able to calculate the formula, the function. First, you know that the y-intercept is our a. So a here in this case is equal to 3. The next thing we know is 1 comma 6 in this case. 1 comma 6 is the other key point. And 6 is equal to a times b. Well, 6 then is equal to a, which is 3, times b. Divide both sides by 3, and b is equal to 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we know a and we know b. f of x is a times b to the x, 3 times 2 to the x power. So two key points on a graph. The y-intercept gives us our a. And then with a little work, 1 comma, the next point is always a times b. And then you can build your graph, your function. Take a look at the homework assignment. Practice a few of these. Let your instructor know if you have any questions. And good luck.